everybody, Riley here for another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Today, I talk about amphipods. You'll see them on the screen in a bit. But before I go on, uh, let me share something with you. Uh, I've been doing fish keeping online from 2000 and about 16, 17. I'm, 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 honestly, I don't remember. Right? But all along, I've been calling these little things um, Daphne. Uh, so I did a little research and I actually tried to find out whether or not they are Daphnia and I only to discover that they are amphipods and they can come in different colors and they tend to um, be fresh water or salt water or salt water so here we are looking at it no no amphipods they reproduce like crazy they are they can be found in all of my ponds except my cichlids because as soon as they start to swim my cichlid will consume them so they are in my guppy ponds they are in my um my sword tail my molly uh even some found in the river pond you know the river fish river fish pond right so these uh creatures they do not uh concern themselves about any other aquatic creatures within the the pond they just nibble on microorganisms along the side of the aquarium or pond right they love plant roots and usually when i take out the plant roots um like let's say i take out a, a bunch of plants from my uh from my ponds you will see a lot of them clinging on to the roots because they actually consume the microorganism on the plant roots um amphipods they have great they are a great source of protein for your fish uh, I, I just discovered well today b right before i did this video that they are sold just like how you have brine shrimp and daphne are sold uh, they are sold like that uh for of course for feeding aqu aquatic creatures right as i said before they are great in uh providing you know protein for your fish your aquatic creatures too much protein in your fish diet especially if it's a vegetarian uh, can lead to some illness right uh practically they can die right so i'm um, part they they would like the male and the female will be dancing around the entire and you, you probably might see this in the in the, in the container and um, the male and female will dance all the way around uh, in the container and they reproduce like crazy and they grow up to probably about uh six or uh, seven millimeters in, in in length right and they can be different different color it depends on what they're actually consuming because so many times because in my pond um they consume the microorganism on the on the on the on the algae they look greenish grayish right but uh depending on where they are what they are consuming uh they can have some crazy colors amphipods are cheap in the sense that once you have a bunch you can just put into just like how you do brand shrimp you can just put into a container and ensure that um they have enough microorganism to consume and ensure show that they have uh what i call it ear uh, that is necessary for their survival amphipods uh how i got my bunch is that i got some plants from a friend of mine i never know nothing about them i just put the plants in the water and i see them start swimming all over i never trouble them because they never trouble my fish they don't trouble the eggs they don't trouble the flies um only thing is that the, the, the fish itself will actually chase them down and consume them so it kind of give the fish a little exercise this is really here for another fish keeping jamaica i hope that this video was of interest to you um this is, i have no research mumble jumble uh this is practically my experience with these things i i, I caught a few of them and i placed into this container so that you can actually have a visual imagery of these creatures bye catch you next time peace